Hey, what's going on guys? Layton here with Viral Ecom, and I just released a product market fit PDF resource and in this video I'm going to go over it with a slideshow, but if you guys want this PDF, I'll have the link down below. I posted it on our free school community right here. It's pinned to the top. You guys can copy this and download it and use it as a cheat sheet. Um, it's a great resource, so go check it out. But for the remainder of this video, I'm going to be going over the PDF in depth with a um, PowerPoint. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> Let me pull this up and let's play. Okay, so this is a product market fit breakdown following the PDF. So what is product market fit? Well, it's super, super simple and I have it written right here. As a marketer, we want to be in a good market or niche, same word, with a product that satisfies the user, right? Very, very simple. Now that you know what it is, we can talk about how to do product market fit, product research, and market research. So let's jump into it. <clears throat> so you have two objectives during when you're doing product market fit. You want to identify a specific niche and market to sell to, and you want to fill the gap, <laughs> gap, not gap. You want to fill the gap of wants and needs with a product, either a physical product or a digital product. I primarily focus on physical products. <clears throat> okay, let's continue. So here are some questions that you need to ask yourself while you're doing product market fit and market research and product research. It's all it's all one system. They all work together. So the first questions I asked are, is there organic growth slash demand in your niche? Is there booming TikToks? Is there a good Google trend graph, right? Is there just demand in general for your niche, your target market and your product? So, and you, and you also want to ask yourself, is it worth money to get your product right now? Because we are trying to induce impulse purchases, right? We're not selling basic products that you can find at Walmart or your local grocery store or anything like that. We are, we are specifically selling unique impulse products. <clears throat> so again, is there Google Trends stable or upward? You know, Google Trends is a great tool. You guys can all use it. It's completely free. You can type in your niche, your product, and see if the Google Trend is going up, going down, or stable. Generally, you want to hop in the market if it's stable or on an upward trend. I would not recommend selling a product that has a very steep downward trend. You're just setting yourself up for failure. <clears throat> and moving forward, can you identify very specific customer avatars? Can you can you see who your target market is? And it might be a, a different, a couple of different avatars. It could be you know younger women older women and, and maybe in between, but you need to be able to be very specific with who you're selling to. And is there pain points that you can attack and you can market to, right? It's so much easier to market if there's a pain point or a desire or a want or a need that your market is unsatisfied with. And that's your job as a marketer to produce a good that hits these pain points and so much easier to sell. <clears throat> and lastly, how can you stand out from your crowd? When you're doing market research, your wheels should be turning in your mind about how you can creatively angle your product um, to stand out against the, against the market and um, amongst other competitors. It might be as simple as offering a better price, maybe taking it to another country, right? There's a lot of things you can do to stand out from the crowd. <clears throat> okay, let's move forward. So how do you perform market research? There are four primary ways that I use for market research, and they're right here. So Amazon, TikTok, YouTube, and just overall competition in the market. So Amazon is great. Obviously, every single product is basically on Amazon. So what do you do on Amazon specifically? Well, you read reviews. You understand the language that your customer is using because they probably don't sound like you. They're probably someone else. Um, who is actually buying? So again, like who is your customer avatar? And what are people unhappy with? And the last one is very important because... A lot of people read Amazon reviews, but they don't read the bad reviews. And the bad reviews are filled with potential and opportunity to angle your product to stand out by answering any objections or anything people are unhappy with. <clears throat> so Amazon's great for doing that. And again, TikTok, so you can visually see your customer because people on TikTok post videos. So it's great to see your customer and obviously TikTok comments, TikTok replies, all of that using the same methodology as Amazon, right? To, to go see um, what people are talking about, their languages and what they're unhappy with. <clears throat> and then YouTube's also great because thumbnails and titles stand out and you can see what type of copywriting is working the best organically on YouTube. And again, comments on YouTube, right? Um, you see a pattern here, reading comments is, is very, very 
important, it's free, and it's easy to do. I would read every single comment. <clears throat> and while you're, while, you're, while you're reading comments, you can be writing this down on a piece of paper or a Google Doc just to save your info because you're going to be coming across a lot of information that you can use when you start marketing your product. <clears throat> and then obviously look at competition, um, who's winning, right? What brand is performing the best and how can you steal from them and learn from them, right? Where are they advertising? Are they on Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Google, maybe all three and maybe more. So this can help you understand where you can market your product. Uh, maybe you can compete with them on the same on the same platform or take it to a new platform. <clears throat> and then you can see their landing pages and see what's working for them. Chances are if they're crushing, they've split tested the landing page many, many times. So you know that their landing page right now is optimized for conversions and you can learn and steal from that. And then yeah, copywriting, right? The headlines they use, their, their body copy, their primary text on their ads, all of that you can take into account when you start making your own ads and your own landing page. So that's basically the rundown for product market research. Um, I do this a lot and for every single product I test, I use all of these, um, Amazon, TikTok, YouTube, and looking at competition. It's very, very important. A lot of people skip this. <clears throat> Okay, moving forward, um, so here's some final case studies that you can learn from. Here are some really good brands that you can break down, spy on their ads, look at their landing page, and look at their product as well. So you guys can go ahead and look at these in your own time. I'm not going to open up their stores, but roskinco.com is crushing it. Nori, which is iron backwards. They sell a flat iron. Also crushing it, tabs.co and myavi.com. They're all great D2C brands, and they have really good brand presence on Facebook and TikTok. And their landing pages are damn near perfect. So go ahead and take a look at those and compare them to your stores and see how you can improve your stores to compete with them. Maybe not in the same market, but you get the, you get the idea of looking at what's working and stealing and copying from it um, and making tweaks for your own market. So that's the breakdown, guys. Super, super simple. Um, again, if you guys want this PDF, it's right here. Um, it's a cheat sheet. You can go ahead and download this. And um, it's not loading right now. There it is. Um, you can download this and use it for yourself. It's very organized and easy to follow. Basically everything I covered in the um, slideshow, but maybe a little bit more in depth on here, um, sourcing and selling. And again, the case studies down here with some extra notes. So that's it guys, go check it out. I hope this video helps. And if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll be happy to answer them and maybe even make another video going deeper into this topic. All right guys, take care, peace.